Uh, oh, uh, hello there. W welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin, and I, well, I sell armor. Oh, sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. I came from the west, from Volgan. Have you been there? It's a lively place, vibrant with trade. Very competitive, of course. And you have to grease the wheels to get anywhere. But I didn't have the funding for that, so I left home in hopes of striking gold. It's been years since then, and I've... <laughs> well, I've made very little headway. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still here. Everything's all run down and dying. It's t terrible for business, really. A group calling themselves the Blue Sentinels have gained much power in Volgan. You can't even run a shop without their blessing. They claim to be working for the greater good, oh, but it's absolute hogwash. <sighs> oh, by the gods, why the hell am I here? <sighs> oh, there's some... with you. May it ease your journey. Go on and see the king. He who made Drangleic what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendry. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it, so that I may help you to see light, to see hope, however faint it might be. Over the hill and past the forest, is the king's castle, where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it? Those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation soon lose hope 
and turn hollow. It happens to them all, sooner or later. That blue knight at the base of the tower, his spirit is already broken. Although he does offer sound advice. Perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. That tiny thing inside the ruins. An ancient being that will mock your very existence. She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her on a good day. The sign you bear will drain your very souls. And without souls, you will turn hollow. Stay strong. Do not lose hope. Even when you have precious little time. For when the undead dies, it is never truly dead. But only one step closer to hollowing. Not all undead are hollows. But all hollows were once undead. If you find an Estus shard, bring it to me. So that I may ease your burden. Over the hill and past the forest is where a man peers... You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything, and now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul, and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now, like I have. <laughs> Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. That is a wise decision. People are weak, but the Blue Sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. 
Let the sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Do you feel lonely here? It suits me just fine, as I've nothing left anyway. It will grow on you, this place. Give it some time. see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. There was once some great fort, but little of it remains. You may just find something there that will be of use on your journey. But don't venture too far inside, or you might not come back. Hade's Tower of Flame lies beyond the far gate. In the cathedral, the Apostles of Blue gather. But the road leading there is perilous. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, I just don't know. Have you seen that pit, that gaping hole in the earth? I don't know what it's like down below, but I wouldn't suggest trying to find out. Besides, you'll never make it down there, not without a ladder of some sort. The flame you see there is a bonfire. They exist all across the land, beacons to we undead. If you are tired, Try resting beside the flame. The flame heals us. Long ago, a woman called a fire keeper, she kept the flame lit and guarded it from those who would extinguish it. I wonder where the fire keepers went. Did you notice any letters on the ground on the way here? These are messages that have jumped the fish in Trang Lake. The flow of time is convoluted. Things shift and waver, twist and turn. Poignant wishes, dashed dreams. The messages convey our very inner thoughts. If your will to soldier on falters, try leaving a message. Somebody out there is sure to listen. You may notice symbols that appear... These are summon signatures. They call upon spirits from other worlds through the schisms in time. If you fear hollows, find summon signatures to call upon spirits, though. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? In a rush, 